Oh, there's a punch. I just oh. started up. <laughs> <Not done running. laughs> yeah. That was the catch of the year. My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. We showed up at this house all ready to do a ratting, and before getting started I took a careful look around like I always do. Much to my surprise and disappointment, I found several droppings from rats who had clearly eaten poison, and several dead and dying rats lying around the chicken coop. I dissected a couple of these rats, and found that like I had suspected, they had all eaten poison. A quick search was made, and it was found that one of the neighbors had put out poison for the rats. The homeowners were very frustrated, as they had already tried poisoning rats several times over the past several years, and though it typically killed a bunch of rats the first week or so of using it, the surviving rats always ended up learning to avoid the poison, and in turn would teach their offspring to do the same. So they already knew from experience that poisoning would do nothing more than put a temporary dent in their rat population. Since poisoning, trapping, and other pest control methods had failed them in the past, they were excited to try our all-natural pest control method with mink and dogs. Unfortunately for them, their neighbor's use of poison made it unsafe for me to use any of my animals to help them with their rat problem. So since I was already there, I agreed to see what I could do and catch as many rats as I could by hand, in a desperate attempt to somehow help this family. Oh, yeah, she's dying. She's not dead yet. Imagine how much more productive this would have been. The dog's she's snatching them. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, there's poison crap everywhere. Oh, look, there's one right there. Rat? Right here. It's sticking out the side. There's like oh, yeah. two or three. I, I, I saw those, yeah. Oh, oh holy oh. rats. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's not helping. I got a few. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get these out of the net before they get out. Nope, that's not oh. good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Okay. I'm just going to grab them. Those two look poisoned. Yeah. Oh, I missed him. That was close. This would have been like a thousand percent easier, wouldn't it? Oh yeah, especially under there because we'd stick a mink under there. He'd be killing rats left and right, and then the rest would be scattering. How do they? How is it they do that like the day before? I like. I know. Not how it works. Like seriously. There's there's enough poop here. It's been here for a couple days. Oh look, there's his head again. It's oh, been a few, maybe even a week. Because that poison takes a while to act. It's really slow acting. Yeah. That way the po the rats are more likely to keep consuming it. Because they're neophobic, so when they see something new, they're hesitant to do anything about it. So the poison's purposely formulated to take several days to kill them. So that they'll eat a little bit. Oh, I feel fine. Eat a little more. Oh, I feel fine. Then eat a bunch. Whereas if it killed them within hours, um, you'd only get a couple rats. So because of that, they run around pooping poison everywhere for a while before they die. And they oh, even... Oh, I think I missed it. How did I miss that? That was so... That was a big one. And that's why it's such a high risk for second secondary poisoning. 
Yeah. It's because they're running around with it in their system. He's pretty alive, I'll wait. Let him bust it around. Okay, move it a little bit because it's just pouring into here. Uh, where you changed it, so now it's pouring into here, pointed a different direction. Oh, yeah. That seems dangerous. A couple at a time. <laughs> yeah. That seems dangerous, right? Yeah, it's probably not yeah. ideal. <laughs> I mean, there's worse things to be bit by, like a cat or something. House cats, way more dangerous than being bit by these. I was thinking more like rabies. No, they can't carry rabies. They're rodents. Mice, rats, squirrels, none of those can carry rabies. Raccoons? Yes, raccoons, definitely. Raccoons. Oh, there's a little baby one. Um, cats, dogs, foxes, all of those. Can carry. Hey, these don't look poison for sure. Yeah, they look good. Except the black one. Yeah, he maybe. Are you just gonna like quarantine them for a little bit to see? Yeah, I'll keep them for a few weeks. Oh, oh, there's more, there's more. Amazing that it's not leaking out. Got him. But the fact that it's not making more happy down there. You know what's nice? Oh, and here we see the honey badger. <laughs> they love to play with lions. <laughs> I didn't think I had him. I was pulling my fingers back for the minute. Oh, look, there's another one over there. Yeah. There's one right here. They're all coming out right there. Got a double. Two with one hand. And then there's another big oh, right there. Right there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was kind of. Okay, this is. Hey, well, we can't say we didn't do anything when we can't. <laughs> Talk about ingenuity. I'm going to injure one right here in this corner. <laughs> well, I'm glad because I, I always hate showing up and being like, well, we showed up and the deal is. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, ah. No, you guys have been awesome. Let's start handing out. we got to make an effort. Who is popped. Anything moving on your side, Kels? Uh -oh. oh, crap. <laughs> oh, you're not, there's no drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, son of a gun. Oh, you got a rat in the trap. Yay. <laughs> I missed one. Oh, yeah. I'm all telling the dogs from the truck. <laughs> oh, here, oh, you, uh, put it back down. Oh, I'm like running. <laughs> oh, we had to get that. Oh. He went under. That was a big one. Side. One, two, three. Yeah, and I got a trap you, set. You just got Holy one. F <laughs> Basher ready. Dude, put that camera there. That oh my. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see all these eyes? Are you gonna have <laughs> nightmares? <laughs> Put some uh, gravel on. Yeah, Joe, right <laughs> come look at all these rats. Oh, did that? Is this is this working? There's a there's a lot under there. I mean, uh, does flush them so towards that side. Oh wow! I don't know. Hey Joe, there's a ton of them. You want me to sweep the bar? Um, over there? yeah. Push him, push him gently over there, see if we can get another in the trap. Watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh my gosh. Do you think, uh... We need to unlock this. Yeah, I got it. David, come fill this one. Oh, yeah. He got it! He got it? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Jesus. Under this little red hut, they keep finding it. That actually probably more effective. Jason's very proud of that. Oh, so there's a bunch. I just stirred up a bunch. Nice job. Nice catch, man. That was the catch of the year. That one's lively, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Put I think this, this flushing out is working. Yeah. Yeah, like three, but there's more coming. Got one in the trap. Good job, guys. Got him. I don't know. grabs two. Yeah. Another one coming. Oh, 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 oh. oh, he's in the trap. He's not set. Oh, I'm such a voice. I let it go. I killed him. Still toes, I hope. I should have had that. That was us. Sorry. Oh, you're good. My back's getting tired. Hold my back get tired. I'm gonna have a dog break out of the truck. Oh, they, they, they're like, <laughs> we're missing out, man. I had a, one dog catch a coon outside the truck. Another one locked in the truck. Boy, they're the back there. window pops like, no. open. <laughs> 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 I'm not missing out on this action. She broke it open and <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish we could at least that on there. <laughs> Get up in there. They wouldn't know what to do. You can feel the water. There's heroes, too. Oh, there's a little one. Over here. Can we get one in the trap? Okay. You guys didn't think you were getting this involved, did you? Hey. This is, we can't watch the mink do it. We gotta do something for it, right? <laughs> See, that this has gotta be like the most redneck thing I've done in a while. <laughs> oh, you got another one! Ow! Did you bite through the gloves? Yeah. You got one on the trap here. Like just crawl on not even running. We got one in the trap? Yes. Yeah. We got one in this one. Oh, no. Woo hoo, he's playing with my shoe. Woo hoo hoo, he's right, he one. Go climb right there. He's got one in the green truck on the side of the back. He's a feisty little guy. We got him now. What's up, Kels? Um, you got one in the green truck on the side of the tree. Got the dog in one, let's go. I want some action. So I was surprised how many rats we got. This was. Luckily, a situation where you could get away with improvising like that just kind of goes to show don't give up, give it a shot. <laughs> um, we were about ready to just pack up and leave when we couldn't use the animals. But I was like, yeah, let's see what we could catch by hand. Sure glad we did, man. That was worked out better than I expected. Most other circumstances, they're not that easy to get. It wouldn't have been that doable. But we were lucky enough in a situation where we could actually catch them and yeah, we did the best we could. We caught 117 rats without using a single dog or mink. Now, I wonder how many we would have caught if we had our proper tools using the mink and dogs. Uh, we did have a few get away, but honestly, we were shockingly efficient for, for the, con considering the circumstances. So, we got a bunch of them uh, due to the poison. We weren't able to use any animals for the safety of the animals, but we caught as many as we can. All of these dead ones, of course, are going straight to the trash. We can't risk feeding them to anything. So great day out. Really wasn't what we were expecting, but we're glad we got a bunch. 
Thanks for watching, guys. We'll show you more next time.